Our Heavenly Father, we come before you today with reverence. We come to praise you, Lord God. We praise you and magnify your name. Oh, Lord God, you have been so good to us, Lord God. We thank you, thank you, thank you for every blessing that you have poured out. We magnify your name this morning, Father. We, we just give you thanks for all that you have done in the past. And we know that you are going to continue to give us blessings in the future. And we just praise you, Lord God, how we magnify your name. You have created the heavens and the earth, every creature in the sky, every creature in the oceans, every creature on the land. And what is man that you should be mindful of him? We are just like the other creatures, if not for the breath of your own breath in our nostrils, O oh God. If it weren't for you, we would be just like any other creature that walks on this earth. But, Father, you have put your spirit into us, Lord God. You have put something into us. You've put life into us. We praise you, O God. We thank you. Magnify your name, Lord God, how we honor you this day, Father God. We just want to thank you, thank you, and praise your name, Lord God. We magnify you, Lord God. You have done great things in our lives. And we just want to thank you and thank you and thank you. We bring our children before you today as well, Lord God. We pray for our school-aged child. We pray for our grown-up son or daughter, Lord God. And even for our grown-up son and daughter's spouses, Lord God. We pray that you will help us to have good relationships with our children, Father God whether they be young or old. Help us to be good parents to them. Help us to teach them the right way and not to just correct them in anger. Sometimes we get angry. We have to admit that. Lord God, we just pray that you will help us to treat them in a respectful manner. Even though they are under our authority, we can still have respect for them, Lord. Help us, Father God. Teach us how to act with our children so that we can teach them the right thing and they will accept what we're saying because we're saying it in the correct way. Help us to have good relationships with our children, Father God, and we pray for each one that they may accept your salvation plan, Father God, that they will not end up separated from you for eternity but that they will accept Jesus Christ as their Savior and Lord, Father God. We pray for them, that they will submit themselves to you, Lord God, that they will always want to serve you with their lives, Father. This is what we want for them. This is the best thing for them, and that is what we want. We want the best, and that is to be serving you, pleasing you, accepting your plan of salvation for our, ourselves and for our children. And Lord, at this point, I just want to pray for our churches, Father God. You know, there's so much going on in the churches nowadays, mostly because a lot of people start a church for the wrong reason. They want to make money or they want the prestige or whatever their reason is. It's not the reason that you would have them to, to be using for opening a church. We pray, Lord, for these leaders, these leaders that are not doing what's right in your sight, Lord God. We pray for them that you will teach them their, your ways, Lord God. Instead of them leading others astray, Father God, we pray, O oh God, that you will do something, Father, for, for leaders that are not going in the right direction. They want to treat the church as a cult, you know, to make money or to have people bowing down to them. Father God, we pray, Lord God, that you will do something about these things. We don't want people to be led astray by false teachers. 
Father God, we just pray that you will act on our behalf. We pray that you will do something to change the hearts of these leaders that are not right, to stop them in their paths, Lord God. And we also pray for those who are doing the right thing. You know, they are servants. They're your servants. They're being real shepherds to the people. And they come under a lot of attack from all sides, Lord. You know that. You see it from where you sit on your throne. We know that you know already. But we just, Lord God, want to ask you to intervene. We ask you to protect these good and righteous leaders. Protect them, Father God. Help them to do what is right in your sight at all times, even when the things are going bad, even when things are tough. It's tough for them because they have spiritual warfare. But Lord, we just pray for them that they will be able, able to continue doing good able to continue teaching the word that you have sent in your Bible, the words that you have given from long ago. You rose up early and sent your prophets. You sent your apostles, Lord God. We pray that you will protect those who teach the word correctly nowadays. And Father God, we pray for those in Jerusalem we pray for those who are working there, those who are trying to bring your gospel to your people. Your people are being grafted back in, Lord God, and it's so exciting to see it happening right in our, in our times. You know, in our world, this is happening. Your prophecies are coming about, and it's so lovely to watch them happen, to watch them develop like that. Lord, we just pray that you will strengthen the workers that are going because they come, come under a lot of persecution in Israel as well when they start teaching your word because the rabbis are teaching from the Talmud and not from, you know, not from the real word of God. They're teaching the oral traditions from men. Lord God, we just pray that you will help those who are teaching so that they will be able to teach your word in a way that people will understand and be able to accept, Father God. We pray that you will help those who are teaching in Israel right now to have the strength to go on as well. Don't help them not to give up, Lord. Help them to be strong. Help them to go on. We thank you for each one who has gone there and is working so hard. We thank you for each one. And we also pray for finances because some of them are very poor. Some of the people are poor. Some of the, the preachers are poor and they don't have enough money. We pray that you will supply, supply, Lord God. Don't let your people be living in poverty over there, Father God. We just pray that you will give them not too much because they will, you know, that's what we always, you've said it in your word, actually, that when, when you give us too much, we turn away from you. So don't give them too much. Just give them the right amount that they can be satisfied and have the strength to serve you. And we thank you, Lord God. We thank you for listening to us. We know that we have a mediator in the man, Christ Jesus. He has given himself for us so that we are able to come boldly to your throne. This is what we're doing each Wednesday. Every Wednesday, we have prayer. We're coming to you in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ, Father God. And we just thank you. Thank you for that opportunity. Because we are like darkness. We were born in darkness. And darkness cannot enter a lighted room. Nobody has ever seen this happen. 
So we thank you, thank you, thank you that we're able to come into your presence because of the Lord Jesus Christ, in whose name we pray. Amen.